Hello, y'all. I'm Space Robot One, and I'm back again with another history video. This is going to be a real quick biography of Ostrogoth King Theodoric, uh, known to some as Theodoric the Great, and let's get right to it. So, he was a Goth and an Arian Christian at birth. The Arians were a group of Christians that were not um, in communion with Rome. They were uh, generally focused among the Germanic barbarians who had converted to Christianity. He was the son of King Theodomir, who was one of the Gothic kings. Um, but his father actually sent him to Constantinople as a hostage as part of like negotiations of sort of fealty between him and the Eastern Roman Emperor. Um, he got a Roman education. He was well brought up there, though. They treated him pretty well since he wasn't like a battle captive. Then he ended up leading Ostrogoth troops for Eastern Rome as a, a federati, I believe is how that's pronounced, which were like barbarian troops in service of um, a Roman emperor. Um, and he actually ended up fighting against a lot of other Goths in, like, Pannonia. Uh, well, not true Pannonia, like the borders uh, of the Byzantine Empire with the region. And then he returned to Gothic Pannonia and claimed the crown that he kind of had a claim to through his birthright as son of King Theodomir. And then he became king of the Ostrogoths. And then he kind of switched allegiances, started raiding Eastern Rome. He was doing that. But then he kind of decided his people needed a home. And at this point, it's important to note he was still, like, kind of technically a vassal of Emperor Zeno, who was the Byzantine Eastern Roman Empire emperor, but it's complicated. Um, so he gets sort of permission from Emperor Zeno to take over Italy, which is run by a barbarian king named Odoacer. Now, Odoacer is nominally like a Byzantine vassal, but Emperor Zeno didn't like him very much. So Zeno kind of... Um, indicates that he'd like Theodoric to invade Italy. Now Theodoric captures Italy and retains most of his de facto independence while being technically a uh, Byzantine viceroy. Uh, he makes a marriage alliance around this time with Clovis I, who's the king of the Franks, and he's Catholic, although um, Theodoric is Arian. Um, then he actually ends up taking over the Visigothic, Western Gothic kingdom as well, as a regent, not as king, which gives him control over parts of Iberia and southern France, basically making him a ruler of the Western Mediterranean. And he sends one of his daughters to marry St. Sigismund, king of Burgundy, king of the Burgundians, which kind of secured peace between them. Um, but his united Western Mediterranean realm um, didn't last after his death. It was split up, and the Goths were once again fractured. Um, if you'd like to see more quick biographies like this, leave a comment below and like the video.